Okay, YouTube, welcome back to Fent Noobs, Roll the Tanks with the Flying Fent. This is episode number 290. I'm going to start off in our AMX 13105 AM. I actually haven't played Roll the Tanks at all today, which is nice. Although I was supposed to record four episodes of Dwarf Fortress and only recorded two. I just remember now I was supposed to do four. Shoot. I just finished recording the two. It's uh, I'm looking forward to this this new Dwarf Fortress series. I think uh, I think it's going to be very good. I'm very excited for it. But for now, it's roll the tanks on highway. Uh, there is enemy artillery, at least the Grilla. They've also got an E25 hanging out there. Uh, I think I am my team's only artillery. Yes, I am. And they do only have the one. Good. I'm just going to go to this bush right here. I'm just going to sit right here. Somebody sh show me some targets. I don't know why I'm staring at the side of a screen. That's not going to help me. I wasn't even looking anywhere on the map. Nothing to be seen. Oh, I take it back. There's plenty to be seen. Get there. Wish that shot had it gone a touch long. That was close. What? The like explosion was underneath the tank. All right, hit the KV three. So close. You know what? These guys are good. I'm going to support over here. I'm going to go long on him. Oh, man. A shot. I don't even think that was in the, the aim circle. I am pretty sure that was not in the aim circle. They're fast. Oh, come on, guys. You gotta put the bullet. How did I ever get an ace tanker on this thing when guys can't even hit where I'm aiming? It's just mind blowing. Push the U-25 back. I'm gonna miss. The corner of the building. Okay, now get right on him. Oh, come on! Come on, guys! Uh, it's never going to get there in time. Oh, splash damage, though. I think I tracked him. That was close. Well, I went long and hit the other guy, but at least it was a hit. Out. 
I think this uh, AMX is the big target. Literally. We are in trouble now. Hoping to stay hidden as I back away here. And uh, friendly tanks are rushing in. I'm hoping they can do some spotting for me. As I hopefully remain hidden. I think I'll stop here. It's far enough. Ah, came up way short. It is a tough angle because I'm shooting flat, but there's not a lot that I can see. I think we have to reset them once. That's all I have to do is reset them once. That was a miss. I don't know if, they eat, if these guys can see me either though. But I know, all I know is that I can't really see them. Oh, there we go. We won. Ugh. You know what? Even though my guys are semi getting trained, I'm tempted to just spend gold on training my gunner. 223 damage. I just, I'm so inaccurate. I mean, look at him. He's already 90%. I feel like that's a waste. Training him up. But I mean, they, they keep missing. I think I have to do it. I think I got to train him. Ugh, I didn't really like doing that. I will tell you. I don't know what scale I should pick. I'll just leave him as is. I just, I needed that I improved accuracy. Ugh, I should have done that right from the start. Now I feel like I wasted a whole bunch of money. All right, any case, up next is the Matilda, which is our T-34 people. I don't have my list open, but I've done it so many times, i got it memorized now. So we're doing an assault. Someone pointed out to me, uh, I had mentioned in one of the things, oh, I wish I could know what the mission was. It says right there, uh, for on the offensive or the defensive. Keep the friendly base secure, so you're on defensive. Let's get this show on the road. Go ahead, Crusader. No? Okay, fine. We'll follow the crowd around the back.
they're hitting us hard on that other flank. Makes me wish I was a little bit faster. Because if I was, I would totally reposition over there to help them out. I think I can penetrate the Churchill. I don't want to sit still because if he's been spotted, chances are he could see me as well. I just made a big loop around this little hill. And I'm probably not even going to be get here in time to help out. Okay, good. I was going to say, I'm not going to get there in time to help out my artillery, but uh, then the guy died. Okay, that Hellcat died. One of our tracks is damaged. One of our gas tanks ruptured. We're low on fuel. Well, I don't know what that Fury was doing. He was sitting on a hill shooting at... Uh, as far as I could tell, there was nothing spotted. And, uh... Until I told him to get over here. And then he finally started coming this way. I don't... I guess he wasn't looking at the minimap. Target acquired. Critical engine damage. We're stuck here. That one didn't go through. Target released. Ah. Now I'd love Everyone to know who would shoot me in the back. Oh, it must have been that Dicker Max way over there. Hmm. That was a rough loss. Uh, any case, next up, Z25. On fjords, okay. Wow, the enemy has two E25s. Oh, we have two E25s. Four E25s, four KV-85s. Interesting, interesting battle. No artillery. I think I'm going to go north. It's a long, it's a long road to haul, but uh, I'm fast. If I can get up there, help protect the north, hold off any of the light scouts that get out there quickly. Let's get the show on the road. On it, the other 20 E25 is thinking the same thing. It's going to be E25 Alley up there. How can I be going faster than E25? Oh, no, that doesn't make sense. I was, going to say, I was thinking, I was going to say, how can I be going faster than them? And I thought, oh, I have an upgraded engine. But then I thought, no, it's not possible. It's an elite tank. It's a premium tank, I should say. So it's automatically elite. Oh, but you don't need help. You got two E25s with you.
guys are still kind of behind the hill. Whoa, shoot. Target acquired. The gunner is wounded. He'll have a hard time hitting anything. They killed our driver. I was going to move up and hide behind there and wait for people to advance into this area. I didn't realize they were all going to be sitting right there. I didn't realize they could get there that quickly. really pushing hard. That's what happens when you realize, I guess, that you've got pretty much most of your vehicles up in the north end and very few of the enemy up in the north end. Uh, I don't know. It'd be interesting to see if they could make it all the way around. I don't know if they can. You know, there's no guarantee just because they're going to overrun that they're going to overrun everywhere. Some of my team may displace. We died so quickly we have no idea of what our team is going to be like there. So, But I'm dead and I don't really feel like sitting around watching. Uh, there is artillery in this battle, though, which is unfortunate. That's all right. Swing out this way a little bit. Wow. You just ran into a building, dude. <laughs> uh, not the sharpest tool in the shed, I don't think. Right, I'm going to swing up wide, get a little bit of elevation here. Then I think I'll just hang out for a minute, see how things develop. Not a lot of people coming this way. Critical, come on. Penetration. There we go. Ready to fire. Where did they go? Well, I don't want to stay where I was anyway, because I would have been spotted. That Hellcat's done. Now I'll go back to my little hidey hole for a minute. I don't think this guy's going to come over that hill right in the middle. But you never know. I think I'll push up just a little bit. I think that T-82 is on the other side of the hill. Are you going to poke your head out at some point?
everybody been almost everybody has been spotted so we have a pretty good idea of where everybody is think I was spotted sometimes you never know Bottom, I can shoot him. was spotted either by the chrono oh probably by one of these tank destroyers out here all right he's where's this cromwell can't see their one all right i'm gonna push out right across the open I feel like I was shot in the back. Which, you know, you drive in front of someone, that's going to happen, but that was like five or six seconds after I'd stopped. Where there's no way I should have been shot in the back. I feel like I was shot in the back, though. Pretty sure. Almost 2,000 XP there. So that's not bad in the Fury. Uh, this is where I'm lost. After the Fury, I go to the uh, KV-1. And then the T-67. Pretty sure. Two artillery on the enemy team, it looks like. We have one... Two, yep. Two per team, yep. Two per team, okay, good. I'm going hill. The team's only heavy, I'm going hill. Yeah, so anyone's to lemming the heavy, you, now you have an idea where he's going. Oh, don't back into me, Chinu, I'm too slow. I don't want to get started and then have to stop. This thing is so slow. So slow. I 
Yeah, a million dollar question. Stay high or go low? Cut across? I don't think so. There's more cover if you cut across, but uh, I say no. Although enemy tanks have just appeared down below. I'm gonna cut through. Don't worry, Stuke, there's lots of room. I got, I'm going around. I can fit around you. What I like about this corner is that most artillery has a hard time cresting that ridge and hitting right here. He's got a tank destroyer up there in the back somewhere. So I'm going to shift my position. Oh, you are so slow, KV-1. Get a move on. Oh, shtug. That's where I was going to go. But if you want to be in front of the heavy tank, you go right ahead. I've tried that tactic many times myself, and it didn't work out so good for me. Just trying to turn there, Stu. You're in a very bad spot. Alright, I'm gonna worry about this stuff up here. AT2, hello. The radio man is down. We can only signal nearby vehicles. Critical hit. One of our tracks is damaged. I don't see the target. Ready to fire. Come on, gun, get around here. Too high to shoot that guy. Let's move forward. Gosh, oh, Doug, your stupid carcass got in the way. Alright, now, am I going to get anywhere early enough to do anything else? The answer is no. I'm just too slow. So, didn't get anywhere near the thousand damage I needed to do. We got halfway. Which is not even close in my book. I kind of see this guy and I kind of, oh, I can, yeah, I can see him. Enemy armor is damaged. Enemy armor is destroyed. 758 damage, assuming there was no hidden damage that I didn't see, which I'm pretty sure there is none. Four kills, though, that's pretty good. It's not the thousand damage I would have liked, but, uh, you know, considering I'm almost stock, I'm okay with that. Second class mastery badge, 2000 XP almost. We've got enough for our track upgrade, which I'm absolutely going to take. Hopefully that increases my traverse speed as well. Next stop is going to be the engine. One twelve eighty-five. Yeah, see, I just don't do have the damage. 
120. Once I get that uh, 85 millimeter, I will be all set. But the engine's going to be the next stop there. Uh, that's going to do it for this video. We're going to get back. We're going to do the FV304 and then uh, just the KV1. So then we'll pick up T67, uh, SU100Y, VK30L1H, and then the Crusader. And then we start the rotation over. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. It really does help me out. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. For now, though, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.